The World Keratoconus Congress is a thematic congress organized by the International Keratoconus Society that gathers the best international experts to evaluate the most advanced therapies and technologies for the treatment of keratoconus. We are proud to have hosted the IFIS's first intercontinental remotely controlled keratoconus surgery that will help many patients worldwide. This new technology, as you've heard in the past or in the last uh, um, session, one hour before, is totally novel, introduced by IVIS technology, and we're going to witness a hi the history. I mean, we're making now the history of doing the first intercontinental surgery. I'd like uh, Professor Hosni to introduce the case. I would like to introduce the surgeon, Professor Gianni Alessio. He is one of the very prominent refractive surgeons in Italy. And uh, today he will be showing an irregular case that he will do a corneal remodeling for, and then a customized cross-linking according to the corneal uh, shape as well. So, Professor Gianni, please. Hi, Professor. There is a presentation of the case. Thank you very much to organizing uh, for the invitation. Uh, uh, the patient is a patient that don't see well. He has a not good quality of vision. At topography, we find the keratoconus. This is an elevation map. So we have to consider how we can obtain an ideal ablation with a cornea that uh, remain with a little keratoconus but the total cornea retracing is good for the vision. The maximum ablation is 58 microns. This is what we expect in terms of post-operative map, in terms of anterior, total cornea and total eye. So that the cross-linking will be a customized cross-linking uh, based on the gradient of pachymetry and with a different energy distribution. Uh, thank you, and we can start. Okay, now we are uh, centered the patient under the laser. Okay. Now this is the alignment and the distance, the correct distance between the head of the laser and the cornea. Now we have to put some for the plume, to aspire the plume. Now we are control the, the, the diameter of the pupil because all the data were acquired with the uh, diameter of the pupil and we there consider the visual axis, the apex and so other. And we have to have the same situation, the same diameter, the pupillary diameter to assure the same in the same position. Okay, we can start. Okay, posso andare. Vado. You can you see the spot of the laser on the cornea? The diameter of the ablation is what we have set for the cross-linking so that epithelium was removed in diameter of nine millimeter. 15 seconds to the end. Can you apply riboflavin? Now we wait seven minutes for uh, riboflavin go in the goes in the cornea. The last minutes of soaking. Uh, Riboflavin. Yeah. 
Sipid, do you want to comment uh, or uh, to talk about the corneal cross-linker linked to the iris machine? In order to harden the cornea, uh, I'm sure you are aware that at the end of the day, we are creating bonds, right? Bonds in between the stroma. So what we did in order basically to be as less invasive as possible, first of all, we developed what, you, what uh, they are using over there is a specific riboflavin, which is... Uh, especially able to sequestrate oxygen. This allow us to basically be over 40% more efficient in order to also be, be always as less invasive as possible. The cross-linking is not like 3.2 on all of the surface, but as you will see now, the, the sides of the cross-linking, which is already started right now, is progressively reducing according to the stromal gradient. We use the gradient of the stroma in order to erogate high air energy where you have the highest gradient. And this again allows a further reduction of basically the total energy erogated. So it's totally customized corneal cross-linking uh, protocol Absolutely. depending on the gradient of the cornea. So even the size of the beam is changing. Absolutely. It and changed, yeah, because it, to focus on the most ecstatic area. Exactly. And of course, there is a tracker which tracking with the same eye tracker or the laser is tracking, as you see, basically. If you notice it, it was stopped for a moment because they was putting a draw. And then the cross-linking works according to the pupil as the pupil moves. Okay. Okay. The subject finished. Perfect. The operation performed today, made possible by technology developed by Evis Technology, is the latest in a series of three remotely controlled surgery of increases complexity and distance. Thanks to remote control and in the presence of adequate infrastructure, it will no longer be necessary for the patient to travel long distance to receive the best possible care. We must continue to invest the research and development of these innovative technologies, ensuring that they are accessible to all who need them. IVIS Technologies is leader in research and development in ophthalmology. The 4D Suite platform was conceived to improve quality of vision of the patients. But overall, it is conceived to support greater equity in the global healthcare system. For this reason, we developed the SDTF project to support screening, diagnosis, treatment, and follow up of coronal pathologies, regardless of the delivery site. A revolution which will change the quality of life of millions of people worldwide. A major acknowledgement to team with the support of Ericsson that made possible the remote control at surgery executed in Dubai. Uh, good afternoon, my name is uh, Mohamed Hosni. Um, I am a professor of ophthalmology at Cairo University. I do believe I'm subspecialized in cornea and refractive surgery and I strongly believe that what uh, IVIS is giving us today is, is really unparalleled in, in terms of technology and in terms of possibilities. Uh, the possibility of doing uh, um, the surgeries remotely and managing the surgeries introduced by IVIS technology opens up a lot of options in the future. And this was till a very, very um, uh, short time ago, unimaginable uh, options. Uh, in keratoconus treatment, um, the, the IVIS technology is driven by something that has not been addressed before uh, in eczema laser um, uh, platforms, which is the ray tracing technology. And, and this is something that really uh, makes the, um, the company stand out um, amidst all the, the competitors and all the, the other platforms in addressing keratoconus and uh, irregular corneas. We did this real-time uh, surgery uh, that has been, um, uh, you know, performed from Dubai. The surgeon was actually in Dubai and the patient was in Bari, Italy. 
which is in, in, in southern Italy and and the uh, zero lag time everything went absolutely fantastic and the results were amazing so i think this this option of doing remote surgery will uh, should be addressed by all the legislation uh, bodies uh, in europe and in the governments to allow for for uh, for this uh, type of treatment to be implemented so uh, um, a surgeon that has very high expertise in, in one procedure can be uh, doing remote surgeries in other countries. And I think uh, this is something that we should, all, should really uh, be uh, addressing and to sort of amend and modify the regulations to allow uh, remote controlled uh, surgeries. Uh, thank you all very much and thank you IVIS uh, for allowing us uh, to do this. IVIS technology made a breakthrough in the field of diagnosis and treatment of the regular cornea in general and keratoconus in particular. The World Keratoconus Congress opened its doors for the significant innovations in the field. That's why we organized this remote intervention session to introduce to our colleagues all over the world this new technology and new modality in the field of diagnosis and treatment of keratoconus. Hello, I am Professor Cosimo Mazzotta from uh, Siena Cross-Linking Center in Italy and the University of Siena. Uh, I am a witness of the great technology achievements of EVIS technologies uh, that beyond the remote control surgery and the first platform in the world for the remote control surgery was the first to give us the opportunity to treat keratoconus and irregular corneas with the ray tracing based technology. The web based ray tracing technology offered us the opportunity to regularize and remodel irregular corneas in keratoconic patients, and I was the first publishing in Cornea Journal the long term results of this amazing technology offering the advantage to this patient to improve the best, best spectacle corrected visual acuity by more than 4.5 lines in over 70% of treated patients. The IVIS platform allows remote control of the entire cycle of screening, diagnosis, treatment and follow-up of corneal pathologies, standardizing all processes, optimizing the performance and relevantly reducing healthcare and social costs. In our experience, we were able to mortgage the IVIS platform in less than one year.